Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through, as you can tell by the title of the video, how to set up a TikTok shop campaign. Now in this video, I'm not going to be walking you through how to set up the actual TikTok shop. You should have already done this at this point, connected it with your Shopify store, opened up everything from the point of sale in the TikTok app on your Shopify store. But when you're actually ready, your products are approved, you have content up and running. This is actually how you go ahead and start running TikTok shop ads and how to go ahead and create campaigns. So you're going to want to come into the TikTok ads manager, guys, go to create a campaign. Now you're going to come to create new. First of all, we want to select our advertising objective. Now, normally guys, if you were targeting and just running regular TikTok ads, you would tackle website conversions as the advertising objective. Now, what this means is you're going to be driving valuable actions at the carts, initiate checkouts, purchases, to your website and obviously for this case your e-commerce your shopify store but what we're going to be doing is selling products from your tiktok shop right and these are products that are connected to your website and your apps whatever but you're going to want to go ahead and select product sales then you're going to want to come and catalog would actually be something uh different right promoting your products from a catalog using video shopping ads that's actually pulling from the shopify store what we're going to be doing is utilizing the tiktok shop you're going to come down we're just going to click test for the campaign name here, go ahead and click continue. So this is actually, I believe, keyword search placements. So first of all, we're gonna be creating two ad groups. So we're gonna have a campaign, basically two different ad sets. So this is gonna be test one, video shopping ads. You're gonna connect your TikTok shop with your brand, open up the placements here, non-audience targeting. Again, set that up however you would like. Generally, we're gonna keep things as broad as possible. Daily budget, again, all of this stuff is gonna be pertaining directly to your brand. And again, like what your budget is, so it doesn't really matter what I'm selecting here. The main thing you're gonna to wanna to test, guys, is bidding and optimization structures. So first thing that we're actually testing is overall gross revenue, right? So we're gonna go ahead and create this, set a minimum return on ad spend, right? So you can go ahead and turn this on or off. For us, what this will be, we can go ahead and set this up for like 1.8 ROAS. Advanced settings, so building events. Again, you can't really change this. You're gonna wanna go ahead and click continue. Daily budget, we'll just do. Generally, what you're gonna wanna do is around, uh, especially getting started with, again, like I mentioned, this is gonna be very pertaining to your individual budget, but our rule of thumb getting started on TikTok shop is generally a pretty hefty budget. I would say anywhere between like five to 10 X your goal cost per acquisition. So if you're spending, you know, so if your goal cost per acquisition is $50, you want to be spending anywhere between, you know, 500 to a thousand dollars in daily budget. And just for the sake of this, we'll just keep it $10 continue. Now, this is the, one of the most important parts when it comes to actually utilizing the TikTok shop. So you're going to want to go ahead and link your account, like the actual brand page your TikTok shop so you can upload that here. And then depending on what creative you're uploading, again, I'm gonna use this example with my phone case. If we were advertising for this phone case and I had you know, a piece of UGC, somebody unboxing this, maybe doing like a TikTok ASMR video, something like that. What I wanna go ahead and do is come under products. And again, these are our approved products. What you wanna do is simply come into here, hit confirm, right? Upload that product, add it as a SKU, and actually tag that product and actually correlate that product to the piece of content that you're utilizing. Then you're gonna come in and upload a video. Most importantly, and most oftentimes, we're actually gonna go ahead and take a TikTok post that we've posted from in the past. Submit that. Boom, so we've gone ahead and added the account. We've gone ahead and added the product. Now you're gonna come on down, add details. You're gonna grab, you know, TikTok post, whatever. This is one of the most important things, guys. So you're gonna do interactive add-ons. So you're gonna have like, from the library, these are like ones you've previously made, and then you're gonna go ahead and create. Cool, so when you open this up, you can do a couple of options, and you can do like the stickers, which pop up, right? So something like this, or the cards, which look something like this. They both work really well. We pretty much always use the product card. So when you create one, you're simply showing the price showing the product that you've selected, it'll pop up here. You can add the brand name if you would like, but generally we're just, we don't even need that. The description, we're just adding the product. Uh, and sometimes the product description just so it pops up. But again, just so you guys can see what it looks like, you can kind of add the masking before and after so you can see what it would look like on TikTok to see how cluttered it is. Once you're going ahead, you're comfortable with that, adding the product card, you pretty much want to add this to all of your TikTok shop creatives. Go ahead and confirm. And the destination is not going to be, again, you wanna hit shop now, it's recommended. You wanna go ahead and submit. We actually just upload a creative. And boom, now this ad is simply created. And so guys, what you'd wanna do is, again, this is the test campaign. That was ad group one. What you'd wanna do, come back into this, ad group two. 
test two. Same exact thing, guys. You want to come in, select video shopping ads, TikTok shop, placements. All this is fine. Select your targeting. The main thing you're going to want to come and change, guys, is change the optimization goal from gross revenue to purchases and you're going to follow the exact same delivery maximum delivery continue you can test cost caps doesn't really matter at this point guys this is the majority of the testing here is going to be done on the creative side and again you're just going to come in connect your tiktok accounts add the product add the creative you're going to add the product card and do the exact same thing and for every single piece of creative and ad that you create again on facebook it's campaign ad sets creative same exact thing on TikTok campaign ad group creative for every single creative you're going to want to go ahead and use those interactive add-ons and those product cards really important and this is not even diving into utilizing things like collaborator codes as well but overall guys I really do hope you enjoyed this video please drop a like comment share this video subscribe all that YouTube jazz it really does help with the algorithm one thing I want you guys to remember and take away from this video is that there's not that big of a complex setup here. The main thing you need to be focused on right now is testing the different targeting between purchases and gross revenue and making sure you're utilizing things like the interactive add-ons and product cards. As always, if you're interested in working with my agency, all the links are in the description below. Or if you'd like access to myself on more of a personal level, we actually have uh, an inner circle you can access in the description as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video.